Let's take a look at uh, distribution of the sample means. And um, this is a uh, central central limit theorem is another another name. Um, now I'm not going to give you all the words and everything uh, that these these entail, but you'll be given a mean. So let's say the mean is 50. You'll be given a standard deviation. Let's say it's um, I don't know seven. And then they'll say um, out of um, 20, 20 um, whatevers, let's say students. Out of 20 students, write that a little bit better. Find, and they'll, they'll refer to the, instead of the um, value, what, what are we talking about here? We're talking maybe 50, uh, I don't know, 50 books you've read. Um, out of 20 students, find the average number of books read. So the average number of books and so forth. So that's the setup. You'll have more than one. You'll be talking about 20, 20 students or 20 whatevers and you're finding the average number of books of read. Um, well, we're going to have three cases for this. We'll have case one. And that's where it's shaded to the left. And maybe this will be, um, I don't know, 45. Well, to do this in, in Excel, uh, we'll do um, norm dist. And then we'll put in our 45. Next parameter is our average, our mean, which is 50. Next one is our standard deviation, which is 7, divided by the square root of n, which would be um, 20. Then comma, and then true. So the form on this is, is when we're talking about the um, distribution of the sample means, our mu, and I'll put x, x bar, so mean of the sample means, is going to equal to mu, so that's just direct, that's why I put 50 here. And sigma, our standard deviation of the sample means is going to equal to our standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So that's how we're going to input it into the calculator. Our mean and our standard deviation is going to be used using these formulas. Well, let's go put this in and see how to, how to input that. So equals norm dist um, beginning parentheses 45 comma 50 comma 7 divided by the square root of, was it 20? Yeah, 20. Um, so again, I put parentheses, 20, closing parentheses, comma, true. And then closing parentheses, and then enter. And I made this up, so it's a pretty small probability, but that would be our probability. That's case one. That's where it's shaded to the right. Well, you're going to have case two. This is where it's shaded to the left. Maybe this is uh, 51 and shaded to the, or shaded to the right, I mean. Well, um, everything in Excel is based upon the area to the left, so we have to rewrite this as 1 minus, and then 51 shaded to the left, like that. So, to put this in Excel, we'll do equals 1 minus norm dist then our x value which is 51 comma our mean which is is 50 comma our standard deviation which is um, sigma which is 7 divided by the square root of how many we're talking about we're talking about 20 students comma true so let's see how to input that that's equals 1 minus norm dist 51 comma 50 comma 7 divided by a square root of 20 comma true. So that's how we'll input it. Enter. And that'd be our probability. Now case 3. That's where it's between two values. So we had our Shaded to the left, shaded to the right. This is shaded in between case. 
um, let's say shaded between um, uh, I don't know, 48 and 52 like that well again Excel doesn't like that it likes uh, area to the left so we're gonna rewrite this as 52 shaded to the left minus 48 shaded to the left because again if I started with this if I if I raced off the area to the left of 48 that'd be left with everything in between so put this into Excel we're gonna do equals norm dist and then you put in your 52 comma our mean which is still 50 comma our standard deviation which is 7 divided by square root of 20 comma true closing parentheses on norm dist minus norm dist and then this will be 48 comma 50 comma 7 divided by square root of 20 comma true so equals norm dist um, 52 comma 50 comma 7 divided by square root of 20 comma true minus norm dist 48 comma 50 comma 7 divided by square root of 20 true closing parentheses and that's how you're going to input it in and then press enter and that gives us our answer there so those are our three cases and um, pretty much the same as just a normal uh, or normal normal distributions our first ones except for your your standard deviations changing 